we will come to a topic, the essential element of a contract. One of the essential elements of a contract is an offer. It is the overwillingness of the party to enter into a contractual relationship. The party manifesting the willingness to contract is the offerer, or the party who, whose the willingness is manifested to is the offeree. So in a contract, we have an offer where the party who, who is willing to contract is the offerer, or the party who the willingness is manifested is the offeree. For instance, if you go to a mobile dealer, the offerer is the mobile dealer, or the offeree is the buyer, characteristic of an offer, acceptance. Any offer made to a specific person, a group of person or the world at large must be accepted to form the basis of the contract. So, in order for a contract to become binding, it must be accepted, communication. For any offer to form the basis of a contract, it must be communicated effectively between the party. So, another characteristic of an offer is communication between the offerer and the offeree, contemporary. An offer should be contemplate following all the legal formalities in order to be enforceable. So for, a con for an offer to be enforceable in any court of law or in any opinion of expert, it must be contemplate non vague. An offer should be simple and clear, free from any type of vagueness. So an offer should not be, so should not be complex or vague in nature. Distinguishment. An offer should be distinguished from an, inv an invitation to treat, since treat invitation is not a contract. So there must be a distinguishment between an offer and an invitation, an invitation to treat. Formation method. An offer may be formed orally by writing or through implied conduct of both the offerer and the offeree. <coughs> Sorry. For instance, in Carrick versus the Caboric Smoke Board Company, the offer came to existence through behavior of the Caboric Smoking Company by advertising that anyone who, who's, who smoked the smoke board and be able to contract another, uh, the, another influencer, you'll be given a certain price for the product. <coughs> Type of offer, we have counter offer. It is a type of contract where the offeree rejects the original term of an offerer from the of an offer from the offerer. Condition, conditional offer. It is an offer where the where the offerer subjects the offeree with some string. Gross offer. It is a contract where a party make identical offer with each other in ignorance of each other offer. We also have another offer which is referred to as single offer. These are tenders, these are tender like in nature where the tenderer is required to supply a definite amount of good within a specified time. So a tenderer is required to supply definite amount of good within a specified time. For instance, they are this contract which some company enter into with schools or in certain offices, government offices to supply a certain thing at a specific time. Maybe they have a gate to supply some food for student at lunch, at breakfast. So failure to honor the contract, the contract can be, uh, failure to honor the offer, the offer may be repudiated or the whole contract will be repudiated. Studying offer, it constitutes a tender where the tender is required to supply with within specified time within specified period good in quantity not exceeding the limit. For instance, you contract a manufacturing company to make some to make some desk. So it must supply those desks with within specified time without exceeding the limit of the desk which you have ordered. Termination of an offer wraps of time. An offer may come into an end if acceptance during any if is not accepted during any reasonable time, death if one of the party die before acceptance of an offer, it can lead an offer to be repudiated. So death of one of one of the parties, either the offerer or the offeree, may lead 
the contract to be repudiated in sanity, an offer may come to an end before acceptance if one of the party is discovered to be of unsound mind, if either the offerer or the offeree is discovered to have unsound mind or insane in nature before the acceptance of contract, so the contract will, uh, the offer will not be legally binding since he made that offer where he was he was not in condition to understand what the offer which which he, is, he was getting into or the other party either the offer or the offer he has the knowledge of insanity of, of that person rejection an offer may be terminated if the offer fail to accept an offer so if the offer fail to accept an offer that ceases to be an offer given to the offer counter offer an offer may terminate if the offer rejects the original terms of an offer from the offer this is for instance where the or the the offer the offerer tells the offeree the, the original term of the offer but the offeree counter the original offer from the offerer so when he counter that bring again another con another offer which the offeree can decide which the offer can decide to make to offeree another essential element of a contract is acceptance it is external manifestation by offeree through us through onset or signing making the contract between the parties it signifies that the offeree has agreed to enter into a contract with the offerer by accepting one of the real the rules of a contract of of a contract by acceptance is acceptance method it may be oral enlightening or implied condition originating from the conduct of the offeree this also take the form of the Karik versus Kaboric company where the contract was entered into through implied condition offeree silence silence from offeree does not mean acceptor to the contract e.g. in Felt House versus Bridry where the defend where the defendant was an was an was 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 an uncle where the who decided that the silence of a nephew means that he could take his horse if he did not hear anything from him and by taking his the horse of the nephew it was discovered by a court of, by a common court that the silence of the nephew did not amount to acceptance of the offer terex acceptance acceptance through use of terex means is deemed from being complete awareness the offerer the offeree must be aware of the contractual relationship he wants to be indulged in unconditional the offeree should not be subjected to any variation or modification of a contract after acceptance <coughs> sorry any modification or change or variation after the acceptance of contract can make the offeree to treat the contract as not a void time factor the offeree should should accept the contract before the stipulated time wraps another essential element of a contract i want us to tell them briefly it is the promise by one party to other party that induce other party as a a surprise of the promise so consideration is a indi inducement that to other party to accept to contract it can be of benefit to defendant but of determinant to printful rules of consideration one of them <coughs> sorry <coughs> is legal a consideration must be legal following or legal formalities and making it as enforceable real a consideration must be real factual in nature excess of public duty the consideration must be in excess of public duty performance of public duty cannot be cons cannot be a consideration for promise excess of contractual obligation performance by print full must be in excess of the contractual obligation to be cons to be considered for as price non past consideration should not be passed to the consideration for to the consideration for promise privacy of contract doctrine 
it simply means only party involved in a contract can sue or be sued by the contract. Capacity As another essential element of a contract, it is the legal ability of party to enter into any contractual relationship. As a general rule, anyone is entitled to enter into a contract. However, the rule restricts the contractual capacity of some classes, such as, in fact, contract. These are people who, are, who have not attained the majority, majority age, drug and person contract, and sound made individual contract. Let us first cover the contractual capacity of an infant. An infant is defined as any, any person below age of 18 under the Majority Act. Contract made by an infant are binding, are binding voidable or void depending on nature and structure. So any contract made by infant can be voidable and are void or in nature. Some contracts made by infant are enforceable, therefore an infant can sue or be sued under them. Binding infant contract, one of them is supply of necessity contract. The sale of good necessities are basic good required at a certain time. An infant is bought by any contractual relationship based on the supply of necessity. For instance, in a Naish versus Imram case where the defendant was a college student who happened to purchase some uniform from the printful, though the parent had had made the purchase of the uniform and had sent had, had standard evidence to show that he had already bought the necessity. So if the parent could have not purchased the necessity, the defendant could be bought to pay the naive the print the printful but through the evidence that the necessity had already been provided made the liability to fall under the printful supply of other necessities an infant is bought by any contract based on supply of other necessities rather than the basic necessity e.g accommodation fee and bus fare and bus fee these are contracts which are, an infant is bought with voidable contract in this type of contract, an infant, an infant can repudiate a contractual relationship during infancy after attaining the majority age. So the infant have the legal capacity of repudiating the contract after attaining the age of common education contract. An infant is bought by any contract whose intention is to offer instruction or instill knowledge infant beneficial contract a contract uh, infant is bought by any contract which was formed to bene to benefit him contractor can contractual capacity of a person of land discharge bankrupt this is person who has been declared to be broke by a competent court of law or quasi judicial body their capacity restricts them from any contractual relationship since Bankrupt person have inadequate resources to enter into any contractual cap, contractual relationship. Hence, any contract made by person who have been discharged to be bankrupt can lead the, the the contract being enforced by court of law to be narrow and void. So, any person who is bankrupt is limited to any contractual capacity either artificial or natural person if a company is discharged to be bankrupt it is immaterial to enter into any contractual capacity with it contractual capacity of a person of an unsound mind for instance person a contract entered to by inside person is voidable at his own option since it, it, it is taken that he was too insane to understand the contract. The other party was aware of the assault by it. By avoiding the contract, the party escaped the liability. Contractual capacity of a drunken person. Any contractual relationship by a drunken person is voidable at his interest since it is taken that the person was too drunk to form the contract. The party was aware of 
his drunken nature. If the drunker rectify the contract when sober, it is easy to be voidable in nature. Therefore, by avoiding the contract, the party may escape the debate that can arise from the contract. Therefore, any contract made with a drunken person can be voidable at his interest. So, it is taken that you are, if it is taken you are not drunk and you understand and you understood the nature of the other party which who was drunk. So, if a person, for instance, say you are say, say you are rad or he was drunk, and tomorrow claim that he did not say the rad, he was too drunk to understand what he was doing. So that contract, that purchase or transfer of title will not be transparent so it can be terminated contractual capacity of cooperation these are artificial person created by rule the contractual capacity of cooperation is defined under the rule any omission to those rules can lead the contractual narrow and void by a party avoiding the cooperation contract it can easily escape the liability thank you for watching hope you have enjoyed the video I do remember to subscribe and comment about the video. Thank you.